What would you say, um, respectively speaking, what would you say some of the craziest things you've seen on, on this street? Well, for example, one night, you remember Glenda, the girl, the Indian girl? She had a sister. She drove a truck around yellow with yeah. flames on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one night I get a knock at my door and I wake up and it's police and lots of ambulance and fire department and police and they, they start to tell me about a girl that um, says I threw her out my door and they got her on a stretcher and her head is wrapped up and split her melon wide open. And I don't know really anything about this. I know that I had a dream that somebody attacked me, right? Mm -hmm. And then the police officer said, we know that you're telling us the truth because the girl said she came here and opened your door and went in because I was drunk, passed out. She walked, went into your home because you had left your bicycle in back of her pickup truck and she couldn't go to sleep because she slipped in the back of the pickup because my bike was in there. Yeah. So she had come in and grabbed a hold of me and my reaction was, and I didn't even really realize that it had happened. And in reality, I could have been in deep, deep trouble. Right. But right. the officer knew that I was telling the truth. That's good. That's yeah. really good. Wow. And, good. and since she's passed, you know, and she was coming around for a long time. I had to take the stitches out of her head. Oh she, she wouldn't go back to get the staples pulled out. I pulled them out for her about wow. six, eight weeks later. Wow. She died shortly after that. Did she? Yeah, so COPD. COPD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you seen a lot of people? Kind of, you've you have probably seen. A lot I've of seen a lot of people die. I came one morning. I uh, was going through uh, big lots. Mm -hmm. Remember big lots over there? Yeah. And I seen that girl. Uh, I'm trying to remember her name. Um, she lived in a band. They called her the Cat Woman. She oh, was a I blonde. Yes, I know who you're talking about. And I saw her on the ground, and she was flopping around, and I kind of went by, you know, my wheel. But she, you shouldn't be passing people laying down with your wheel that close to them. Mm -hmm. And she was still moving. And I guess uh, she was in the process of dying right there. That's she. When I'd pass by her at six in the morning, she was still alive. Within yeah. a few hours, she was dead. And she used to stay over there on Spring Street, Spring in uh, uh, Chestnut. Yeah, she she was around. For a long time. Um, my initial initially when I met her, that was on Kmart lot, and I forget what it was about. Oh, uh, when you live on the street, you know, uh, you have the bathroom issues, of course, mm -hmm. right? Sure. sure. Right. Uh, like, for example, a friend of mine, he uses, we call him gas can Gary. He uses a gas can he used. And so um, if people, you know, you had an argument or something or you wanted to get somebody's butt, you take that can after it sits for several weeks and you go pour it underneath their RV. And it's absolutely horrible. <laughs> so she came over. And she was upset about people urinating in the bushes because when the wind would come up, the, the lot would smell like urine. Right. And so uh, we, her and I started to exchange words. And I, I said to her, you know, if you were, you're not a man, so don't come and talk to me like a man. But I said, if you were a man, you would have punched me by now. And man, she spun around so fast and laid me right out, that girl. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, split my split my uh, lip wide open, you know, stitches underneath and shit. Yeah. And you know, the police say uh, at at that time for where whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. I, maybe I I deserved it. You know, my reaction though when she hit me was, you know, I was going to beat the dog snot out of her, <laughs> and I I just gathered enough just not to right. Yeah. 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 I, I've never hit a woman in my life, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty tough when you're. Well, it's pretty uh, tough to, to live, live the life I've lived yeah. and be able to say that at my age. That's amazing. Sure.